It's a beautiful early November Saturday morning here. It's quite nice out. Uh, hey everyone, Scott and welcome to Rochester, Michigan. Rochester is a thriving community. It's been around since about 1817 when actually the area used to be full of a lot of different type of type of mills in here. And now today it's a lot of commerce comes comes in through here and a lot of different stores and restaurants and this city never has a dull moment. So we're gonna walk in the downtown area today and then we're going to check out some of the cool sites throughout the city as well as along the Paint Creek. So let's go. As I was saying, yeah, look how busy Main Street is. Lots of traffic on the on the road right now and it's Saturday morning so people are out and about to go shopping and probably check out some of the cider mills because it's quite beautiful out here. But yeah, we're along M150. This is our Rochester Road which basically comes down from the Troy area and heads all the way up to Pretty much up to like the Lakeville and Leonard area. But we're going to explore downtown Rochester here. Yeah. Got a lot of stores and a lot of restaurants. Walled up in here. Ooh, chocolate sound really good right now. Notice these holiday lights that are lined up on these buildings right here. From late November until like around New Year's Day, every night, hundreds if not thousands of Christmas lights light up and light up the whole street here. As a matter of fact, uh, I believe sometime in early December, can't remember which weekend. Uh, I think it's, it's near the beginning of December, I believe. Uh, they have a huge festival that happens where they light up all the Christmas lights and people from all over come here to to take a look at the beauty of them. I might have to come come back at some point to do like a little quick video with all the lights or something or maybe even like a driving video. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. But yeah. But yeah, I figure I mentioned about that because yeah, you could definitely tell with all the lights on the facades of the buildings here. Okay, yeah, here's yeah, here's the actual sign. Yeah. It's like it's the first Sunday of December. They have the Christmas parade where they have a huge holiday parade going down Main Street and at the same time you get all the holiday lights, but you might want to get here early if you want to attend that event because as I was saying, people from all over come to come, come to that parade. Anyway, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. It's, yeah, a lot of cool restaurants and stores in here. Yeah, yeah. Crusimir on Main over there, very popular restaurant, and then a lot of different other stores over here too. We're, we're, let's cross the other side of the road because we, 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 we haven't seen the Main Street from the other side. Take a look at that that building in front of. Main Street along 4th Street. That's actually the old opera building. Uh, that was built back in 1890 and on the lower level it used to have like the First National Bank when it first opened back in 1890 as well as Norton Pharmacy. And on the upper level they actually had the, the opera house itself. Although a little fun fact there is never an opera on that second floor. They have different movies and dances up there. Till about like around 1933, but today though there's actually a little pharmacy on the on the lower level. But yeah, as you come up, up and down Main Street, there's a lot of great history. And actually, even another building we're going to be coming up momentarily, we'll see some get some historical facts about it as well.
So yeah, right here we have the home bakery. This has been a business since 1930 and the oldest commercial building in Rochester. This building was built back in 1849. It was actually planned by Dr. Roland Sprague from Rochester, New York. And a little fun fact, a lot of the cities in this part of Michigan actually are named after the cities in New York. And yeah, what a beauty that is. Although the recent, the, the, the current models actually was based off the structure how it looked in 1899. If we come over here to the side, you can see it's made out of cobblestone. This is unusual for architecture in Michigan at that time. This is more, more popular in his state of New York. But yeah, look how beautiful that is. It is absolutely beautiful walking in downtown Rochester, but it's definitely great to get out of the, out of the hustle and bustle of downtown, or at least Main Street. So why not come out here where we have a little bit more open space. Uh, down here from May to October on every Saturday during those months is the Rochester Farmers Market. And they take up this parking lot down here and they, and farmers from, the, from this area, there's definitely, definitely a lot of farms, especially as you go north of here, they bring all their different produce and their, or even baked goods and they sell it to the community. But because it's early November, it's just a it's just a car park. Then yeah, all the way out over there is the Clinton River, and if you continue over that way to the east, uh, if you happen to watch any of like like my update videos or that one of my very early one of my earliest videos where I went to the Clinton River in Rochester, there's a little parking lot out to the east where you actually have access to the Clinton River Trail, which is a pretty long trail system which takes you west back toward Pontiac and then and then takes you east and it connects to one of the trails over in Macomb County so it's basically a collection of trails and then as we'll see later in this video we'll be heading over to the Paint Creek Trail which that'll take you up to Lake Orion if you're looking for a place to park in Rochester there's many different parking areas there's metered parking along the along the main streets including main street itself there's also different parking garages where you just pay like i think it's like a dollar an hour yeah i can check the sign for yep just just making sure i'm not goofing up here <laughs> and then there's even a couple of free parking lots too although they're not as accessible if you want to go to some of the downtown areas but if, if you don't mind the walk there's a couple of free parking lots that you, you can park in Oh, look at this building here. On this site, back in 1844, this actually was the site of the very first mill, which was powered by the nearby Paint Creek, which is just over that way. And this was basically a woolen mill, and and yeah, from 1896 to about 1916, they actually produced different like wool socks, gloves, mittens, etc. And then for another decade, wool cloth, and then. And for the World War I soldiers, even some khaki gloves. However, the knitting actually stopped in 1939, and today it's home to the Rochester Mills Beer Company. So this is a very popular brewery and bar, or more so a brewery, to where you can enjoy a nice brew and enjoy the beautiful downtown nightlife here. And just a little walk to the east of the of the Rochester Mills Beer Company, we have the Paint Creek, and look how beautiful it is. With the fall color, this is so serene. I got a few people down there enjoying the, the riverbanks down there. But yeah, the Paint Creek is a tributary of the Clinton River, which it empties out to the Clinton River just about three blocks down that way. The Paint Creek comes all the way up from not only Lake Orion the village, but also Lake Orion the lake.
Okay, now we're going to continue along the river walk, which goes right along the Paint Creek. And this will eventually take us back over toward Main Street and then cross over Main Street and we'll head over to the Rochester Municipal Park. If you look in this area, kind of like near the near like the post office and like this general area, this used to be home to Chapman Pond. It actually, used to be a, a pretty large pond right right in here in the northeastern part of downtown Rochester. However, the the, the dam washed out that was keeping the pond afloat here in nineteen forty until nineteen forty six, and then the pond basically dried out and it's never the water never came, came back since. And due to that, I was able to. Basically fill it in with like the post office over there and etc. However, we still have the Paint Creek to enjoy today. And why not? Because the ball colors are just beautiful in here. And we're right along the Paint Creek and we're about to go underneath Main Street or Rochester Road or M150. And we have made it over to the Municipal Park. We'll go over there shortly, but here is the beginning of the Paint Creek Trail. It's an eight to nine mile trail which connects Rochester all the way to Lake Orion. Like you can see the, the map right here. So basically how the trail works, because we're at the end of the Rochester Riverwalk right here. And then it continues all the way up here through Goodison to the north side of the Ball, Mar Ball Mountain State Rec area and then it goes all the way up to downtown Lake Orion. But this time of the year it's definitely nice to walk on, like I can even walk on just a little few feet on the trail. But we're actually not going to cover the trail or anything, we're going to head over this way into the municipal park where we'll end today's video. Yeah, look how beautiful the whole area is in here, we got the Paint Creek here again and just listen to it. And we actually have a pond over there too. And then we got the play area for the kids. And we have a festival of ducks here over here right now. Look at all the ducks over here. It's catching everybody's attention, including mine. Probably yours too. Duck. Duck. Goose. Oh, you just gotta love the scenery in here. It's absolutely beautiful. Rochester Municipal Park is the largest park in Rochester, Michigan. I, I, I say Rochester, Michigan because there's a larger park to the east sphere called Bloomer Park, but that's technically part of Rochester Hills, Michigan, which surrounds Rochester, Michigan. But yeah, the municipal park has quite a lot of beauty, a lot of great hiking and biking opportunities. Got some play areas, got a lot of ducks. <laughs> and also got some volleyball courts over there. And then saw some tennis courts back that way over by that pond. But yeah, Rochester, Michigan has a lot, I mean a lot to offer. Beautiful downtown district, a lot of stores, a lot of restaurants really popular too like around the holidays where you have the Christmas parade and a lot of beautiful scenery along the Paint Creek or even further south over by the Clinton River. So yeah definitely check out Rochester Michigan when you're here in the metropolitan Detroit area. So yeah if you enjoyed this video definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scatman 95 travel videos definitely cl click that subscribe button. At the end of every video I've links to my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages. Well thank you for watching today's video here in Rochester, Michigan. This is Scott or the Scott Man signing out.